<laughs> Silence. No, 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 no. <laughs> you saw nothing, kid. What just? Wait. Huh. Constantly throughout my years of schooling, I'd find myself face down, butt up. That's the way we like to pay attention in class because nine times out of 10, I would drown myself in my own saliva due to how boring lecture was. But luckily I had a way out of this imprisonment. I'm finally free! Yeah, over, we got the stupid green idiot laying on And I'll here. do it again! But since I was focused on the path of science, we had practical applications being lab, where we would follow instructions on performing an experiment to a T, sometimes, but they were really cool. Nerd. Hey, watch it. <laughs> okay, this did actually happen, but not as bad. We only worked with diluted versions of hydrochloric acid, meaning instead of eating through my hand, it was just a really bad skin irritation. Well, how could you not expect this to happen? There are dumb college kids everywhere. Just like one time in physics, where a man thought it was a good idea to use a tuning fork in an outlet. <laughs> Literally, like, why? It has fork in the name. But specifically in my major in college, it was called kinesiology, which meant I mostly specialized in human anatomy labs. So things like staring at body parts and memorizing every single possible muscle. Lasagna. Pinto beans. Whoopee cushion. Glutes. See, master of my craft. Except when tied with animation. But for real, though, I excelled here compared to other base sciences, acing all the tests, and this made me feel... Yup, instead of frogs or something tame, we had to determine certain muscles on dead cats. And the smell was enough to make your stomach turn, not once, but 12 times over. I am pain. But on the first day, we were split into groups, and I had two football players and two girls. Nobody wanted to be the person that was going to make the first cut, which was supposed to be the cat's mouth based on the instructions. You can crack open the jaw for easy access to your first cut. Nobody wanted to lose their morality and perform the horrific act. And people honestly started calling each other names like they were in a survival movie until into the back of the room, somebody... Yeah, no, everyone was just cowards. Do I feel horrific? Absolutely. But dang, it was Friday and the faster I got this done, the faster I got out. They can thank me later. They're all just cowards. Sorry, boom, bing, bam, got 100 on the cat anatomy exam. On top of this, I got asked by the teacher next semester to help with the dissections for the future tests, which may have led to everyone thinking I'm some sort of psycho for the rest of my years of college. In return, making me question whether this was a flex or not. But kinesiology had really interesting classes because it was also known mm -hmm. as exercise sciences. One class being biomechanics, which is how you apply physics on the body. And the teacher told us to prepare to calculate the force of a singular pitch recorded by a camera. But I looked out at my phone to see a text saying my partner will be late due to getting coffee. At first, I was really annoyed I was going to leave late, but then a classic light bulb went off in my head. Hey, wait. So in preparation, I made sure all the cameras were properly angled to. Yup, I just totally calculated how hard I could throw a ball at a man's nuts. And it went so well, my teacher used it as a bonus lab question you could choose to calculate. So lesson learned with me, don't be late, or your soft tacos will get cold. But in one of my classes, a physical education student was complaining about their labs being too hard. Too hard? Wait, man, relax. Oh, and you know what they had to do? Because I was forced to take some in order to graduate? I had to suffer through racket activities, aquatics, and worst of all, tag. That's right, aside of the pain of the aquatic spinal's distances, these classes were just skill tests. Can you serve? Can you volley? Can you backhand? Of course I can! And their lab write-ups were just keeping a neat notebook. <laughs> Which I didn't have to do because the PE teachers understood we had more work. Hmm. But honestly, the hardest part of all this was trying to get to a class at 8 a.m. about playing tag. But I'm not going to complain because it was kind of fun. Like one time we had to play this game, I mean perform this lab, where the teacher would pose and your team had to mirror that pose in the right position assigned at the beginning of lab to win a point. Honestly acting like a really bad raid boss mechanic. And for no reason, this game was intense because everyone was athletic. Not your average pub match of high school gym class where I found myself sprinting all around the gym, sweating buckets just to have us at a four-way tie on the quote-unquote final pose until 
Everyone was confused for a moment, until it all sank in. Suddenly, 20 students burst through the doors, chasing the teacher through the athletic department, all the way outside to the school's football field, to find him posing on the goal line. Honestly, this man was the closest thing at this moment to being an angelic reincarnation, that we find a mob of students tumbling their way down the field just to get into position. Just to find out, we barely scrape out the win in the last second. And while everyone was fatigued and tired, we heard, Good job, everyone! One point of extra credit. Huh? huh? Yeah, no, they just get to have fun and play. While my labs had me running on treadmills with a mask, fasted at 8 a.m. until failure with long write-ups plus math. Ooh, I hated the math part. And that's coming from an Asian. But the reason why I loved labs so much was the fact that we got to actually use what we learned in class rather than other classes like history. Sorry if you love history. I only feel like I just learned things to like win in trivia or to try to impress somebody, but that's it. But it was like really the only place in school I felt like I excelled due to being a very hands-on person. See? So yeah, until next time, chemically modified taco for you.